Atrius Facilities is our cloud BMS that combines the power of DisTech controls at the edge with Atrius in the cloud. We provide facility managers the ability to command and control 100,000 buildings as easily as they control one. Building on Atrius energy, sustainability, and resolve, our fleet of applications works together to create more automated and optimized spaces. Let's go to Charles Peltier and Mike Westerfield to learn more. So today I'm joined by Mike Westerfield, who leads our Atrius Facilities product. Mike, let's discuss the state of the building controls industry and our approach to moving the industry forward. So Mike, since rejoining the commercial building uh, control industry, um, is there anything you've noticed? Yeah, you know, I mean, some things have changed, some things haven't. Um, you know, it used to be about saving the customer money on their energy bill. Uh, but now we're looking at buildings a little more holistically and the impact they have on the environment around them. So we sort of realized that we're in the middle of an energy crisis. Yeah, and speaking of that, th did you know that buildings are responsible for 40% of total energy consumption? And because of that and the energy crisis, we've seen government in many parts of the world put drastic regulation in place. Yeah, and, and to add to that complexity, uh, buildings are being used in, in very new ways. Absolutely, and just, just think about um, COVID and how was a facility manager supposed to know um, that it would introduce an hybrid work week and now how are they supposed to know when the building is used or not used? Yeah, and precisely uh, with, with so much variation in occupancy, how is the building supposed to know whether it needs more ventilation or cooling? It seems that there's an obvious disconnect. Um, what's missing for buildings to operate at their best? Well, uh, based off the conversations I've been in, I think traditional BMS has missed on a couple items. Uh, the first one really being about performance degradation over time. Uh, tenants submit hot and cold calls, uh, tenants change, seasons change. Little by little over time, the building becomes less and less efficient. And without a fully staffed facility management team, buildings just simply aren't operating at their best. Yeah, yeah, and you may have seen this uh, this information. Um, there's a report uh, on New York City comparing um, energy consumption versus occupancy during COVID, and you can see that the two are correlated, but the overall energy didn't track at all the occupancy. Yeah, this is the exact type of intelligence I think today's buildings are lacking. And beyond energy, what about if something actually breaks or goes wrong? Um, what about if you have a stuck economizer or a leaking valve? Maintenance and repair has been something we've thought about for a while. And while BMS system capture all the information needed to make decision, uh, it's often not actionable and, or it turns into alarm fatigue. Yeah, and, and beyond just performance drift and repair, you know, we're noticing that a lot of these buildings are running five or even 10 year old software. Uh, you have to think with all the cybersecurity concern today, uh, today's buildings just simply aren't keeping pace. Yeah. Are, are you saying, Mike, that we should update our systems? <laughs> well, uh, you know, most vendors are creating new updated software several times a year. But today, that means a technician getting in their truck and going out to the site. Yeah. So not, not so efficient, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so we've covered the core problems um, that buildings are facing. What's, what's, what's the big vision? Well, uh, the BMS has always been tasked with making the building more efficient, simpler to operate, and more comfortable for people inside. And this is exactly what Atrium Facilities will deliver on. We want to have the most efficient buildings, the easiest to operate, and the most comfortable for people inside. And all of this needs to be simpler to install, simpler to update, and simpler to connect. That's great. Uh, great vision. So what does it take to make the most efficient building? Well, that's easy. It really starts with turning equipment off when it doesn't need to be on, right? I mean, it's it's still yeah. there. Uh, how many times do you still drive around at night and you see office buildings with all the lights on? And if COVID's taught us anything, you know, we're seeing that the HVAC system is on at that same time, heating or cooling the space when it's unoccupied. So uh, Atrius Facilities is gonna use machine learning uh, to really determine how to operate the building at its most efficient. Uh, Atrius Facilities is built on a digital twin and it is an optional. And the digital twin is a schema for your building that describes the physical space, such as floors and zones, relationships between HVAC equipment and the environment around it. 
using the digital twin, this means that Atrius facilities will have enriched data that helps it make smarter decisions. For example, each piece of equipment will have details like runtime, start stop cycles, and faults available. Uh, Atrius facilities will know how to route repair orders to the right technician. We'll also know when equipment is left in override. Overall, we'll know how your building operates, why the way it does, and receive advice on how to keep it at its best. Atrius facilities is simply going to model the, the building and capture the information that's already available. This is information that would typically be available you know, as early as the estimate for the job. So in the process, we make things easier to deploy and address labor challenges. Mike, couldn't be more excited about Atrius facilities. So when can we expect to see our first release? Well, we are taking a phased approach. Uh, just like with anything big, um, like landing on the moon, you had to take an iterative approach. First, you had to build a rocket, show the rocket could be making it into Earth's orbit, et cetera, you get the idea. Atrius facilities will start by connecting and deploying, and then we'll be modeling the space, and then we'll move on to optimizing the space. So um, with the first phase, connect and deploy, we're gonna launch this into beta in August with a full release coming in 2024. So with a beta coming soon, can you already, already show us a preview? Yeah, I'd love to show you a couple of capabilities. So first, it starts with building the site database and programming each disk tech controller. Atrius facilities focus on limiting the time that the system integrator spends, not only at the site, but also preparing to go to the site. We noticed many integrators were programming controllers multiple times and, and doing it before they even get to the site. Atrius facilities has created a simple process using a mobile app to pair it with the digital twin. You simply take out your phone, you scan the device, and when it synchronizes with the cloud, it'll download the program and settings that are stored in the digital twin. We've noticed that many partners and IT teams are going to great lengths to make controllers securely accessible remotely. Leveraging industry-leading IoT services, DisTech controls devices securely phone home and are accessible behind a secure and modern authorization and authentication service. Once those devices are connected securely, we can also update them automatically. So simple things like addressing a cybersecurity vulnerability or maybe updating a cryptographic key, updating an internet protocol, these can be done automatically and scheduled. We spoke earlier about outdated controllers and supervisory software. With Atrius facilities, your site will always be up to date now. For controller sequence changes, that will also be possible remotely. Atrius facility uses its secure connection with the device, so DISTEC controls tools that our partners already use, like ECGFX program, can be used to push changes directly to the controller. Changes made will automatically be stored back in the digital twin and saved for a backup. And the last feature I'm excited about is the controller reporting status. We've learned quite a bit over the last few decades of helping some of our larger sites with their connected solutions, and we understand the quality of service and data quality really matters when it comes to connected third-party applications. We have a lot more to talk about, but for upcoming features, we strongly believe this first phase will help change the way that buildings are deployed, updated, and maintained. So, so that first phase sounds great. Um, what, what comes after? Well, with a connected system, we have a standard way to exchange information with the building. We thought through the building model and how it should be constructed with community guidance on ontologies. And so upon startup, the system is well described and interoperable. So are you saying that the building model will no longer be an afterthought? Exactly. No more tagging? No need to, it's already there. Awesome, you know, with the properly documented twins, this means we will finally be able to apply intelligence on top of every buildings because they will all be modeled the same way. Exactly. This is how we will optimize buildings. That sounds exciting. Yes, very. I, I can't wait to see what's next. 